Hello, today I would like to show you something interesting. On desk I've got a metal halide lamp. It's mostly used in stores because of the high brightness, very nice color and the energy efficient. Of course, now if we compare this to the LED, the LED I'm pretty sure there will be better, but at that time that was a very efficiency way of lighting. This is a gas discharge bulb, so it doesn't have a standard resistive winding that is just growing, glowing red hot. Over here we've got a discharge between of two electrodes and it requires a lot of things inside to make it working. There is, I'm going to show you what's inside because I buy this for my electronic lab and I've got this really cheap and I would like use this as a light for filming. I've got two of these but I came across of a problem that I would not expect and the problem is that it is making a flickering on the video in making a stripes just like on on very very old CRT screen if you try to record then this is making stripes across the video I don't know why but it looks like 100 Hertz and I didn't like that and there is a way of, of fixing that and the way is of using the electronic ballast that one used the inductive there is a like choke that is limiting the amount of current that is going past through the bulb and there is also a ignition little bit similar design to the to the CFL tubes We've got a device that creates a voltage to high voltage to make the the gas and current flowing, and then we are limiting the the current by a big inductor. So we are going to see that, but I would like to show you how how it's glowing, and then we are going to compare this to the electronic ballast. I'm going to show you everything. So this will be a compare video. I'm going to put camera like that and I'm going to show you how does this device start up when we are using the electromagnetic ballast. So this is the electromagnetic. Let me turn this on. Okay, I kill all lights and I'm going to try to turn it on and you will be able to see how the bulb start glowing to the full brightness. And you can notice the, the color. I'm going to put a piece of paper that is white. There will be a change of color because right now it's a little bit blue and that's going to change after the warm up.
and as you can see right now we've got a good color but it starts to flickering and the I can tell you right now that the amount of of brightness is ridiculous the camera doesn't give how much bright it is but it's giving a extremely big amount of light so now I'm going to try the electronic ballast and this how looks the process of cooling the the element as you can see it was clearly uh, red hot this is exactly the same lamp exactly the same lamp but I removed the every internal circuitry and I use this electronic high intensive discharge 150 watt electronic ballast and I'm going to power it on and you're going to notice that it doesn't flickering
and as you can see we doesn't have that flickering we've got also a ridiculous amount of light and everything is working just fine it requires a little more circuitry to be working and as you can see we've got a basically a device that is acting like a chalk and it letting only 150 watt of of current going through the lamp we've got a stand starter which is making a ignition here is a diagram and we've got also a, a capacitor but this unit is not working as you can see it leaked it leaked very bad from the from the ignition device i just removed the wires from the from the ignition device because i'm going to replace that everything with something modern as you can see this is a electronic that is a electromagnetic this is completely electronic that's called uh, that's named a high intensity charge and this is exactly what this lamp is and we are going to i'm going to replace this i'm not sure if i will be able to to put it inside i think i can i can cut that part but if it won't fit i'm going just use it on the outer case because i do not think i will be able to squeeze that but yes that's that's how it looks like and that's why sometimes it's good to open device and make a visual inspection because you can have a, a leaking insulation from the from the device so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye